These two features in Pro Tools are so misunderstood and underutilized. They can be the difference between you losing all your hard work and you being able to move on productively. I'm going to show you today exactly why you should pay attention to these tools and how to use them effectively. What's up my friend, I'm Macro from Mixing with Macro, I'm a recording and mixing engineer and I do recording for major record labels and many independent artists. And my goal is to help you streamline your recording and mixing process for fast and consistent results. That is why I created a gift from me to you where I show you all my plugins and my mixing process. It's a five step cheat sheet that will take your mixing from zero to 100 in less than 30 minutes. And you will have a stream ready song faster than you can say free download. So go ahead and check it out. Grab it right now, it's in the description, absolutely free. Now I'm gonna show you why save as and save copy in are two of the most important features in Pro Tools. Let's get started. Okay, so save copy in and save as are done in different scenarios. So save copy in, what it does is that it copies the entire session with all the audio files in the session. And what a save as does, it only copies the PTX file, meaning the Pro Tools actual file, only the file. So let me show you what this, this file right here. The PTX file, see it says PTX on the end, it only captures this. That's what a save as does. I'm going to give you a scenario where you want to use a save as and another scenario where you're going to use a save copy. We have this session right here. This is my mix session. When I open this, we get this right here behind us. Now, this is my mix session. I've done everything I'm going to do with it. I'm satisfied with how the mix is sounding. Let's make this a little bit bigger. I'm satisfied with how this mix is sounding and I want to try another thing that I have in my head, all right? But I don't want to affect this file because I've got it in a really great place, okay? If I try this thing and it doesn't work out, maybe I don't like it, maybe it doesn't add to the song, then I wanna be able to go back to this position right here, to this file where I was satisfied with it and I didn't need to tweak anything after, okay? That's when I would do a save as. So you would go to Pro Tools, you go to File, and then you do Save As. Okay, this is where you want to rename your session. This is the way I do it. And I would suggest you do it like this as well. I will rename the session. Just say I wanted to do more EQ. Okay, now I can go into this file and do whatever I wanted to do, like add more EQ. Now, when we go into here, you see it's here. Let's open this for you so you can see it. Boom, there it is. So let's just say I added the EQ that I wanted to do and I hated it. I'm like, oh God, no, this is not the EQ I was going for. It was worth a shot. I'm glad I know what it sounds like and now I know I don't want to do that. Now I can go back to my original session, boom, where I was before and I could get back to the place I was before. The mistake that a lot of people, a lot of new engineers or people who are mixing their music, a mistake that they do is that they would try everything in one session and let's just say they got to a place that maybe they get into a flow and they're just doing things. They're just like, yeah, this sounds cool, this sounds cool, I'll do this here, I'll do this here, do this here and then they're like, I don't like how this sounds. I actually liked how it sounded yesterday. For you to undo everything that you've done, it's going to be a headache. You're probably not going to get it back to the place that you were. So a save as is to protect you. The way I use it, a save as is to protect you from yourself. All right. And here's the other way you can use save as. Just say you wanted to add more EQ and you did like the EQ. Okay, great. Now you can use this session. This is the new session. All right. Just say you did the save as, you added the more EQ and then it actually sounded great now you can use the session and move on from there all right so that's what a save as does save as does not copy the audio files it just creates a new ptx file it's just the metadata that's in pro tools here the position of all the audio clips you know all your um volume movements all your settings that kind of stuff that's what a save as does now a save copy in cop the scenario for a save copy in let's just say someone wants this session right here right they want it and they're in a different state 
they're in different part of the country they're across the world wherever they might be they want you to send this session now if you just send this file right here they cannot open anything because they don't have the audio files folder right and that's what that's what's very important they cannot do anything they just have the metadata they don't have anything to connect it to see if you were to lose this this folder here in the uh process of sending it to the other person maybe you wanted this person to add more production to it or maybe you want to add them you wanted them to add a feature or maybe they're a mixing engineer you want them to mix it there's like yeah just send me the session and i'll mix it okay great so what you're gonna do is a save copy in so you're gonna do save copy in right so this dialog box is gonna show up then you're gonna tell pro tools your bit depth make sure it's interleaved so all of your stereo files remain stereo it doesn't split down to mono make sure it's interleave and then items to copy it's gonna copy right so you want to copy all your audio files right you don't need to select anything else and then you want to select all of your plugins so all of your plugins that you've used as on your tracks right now this is what's gonna copy over as well okay all the settings there but the main thing is the audio files then you're gonna hit okay and then you can just save it in the folder boom save and see it's copying all your files all your files over boom audio files are there now when you send this over to whoever you're going to send this file to when they open it as long as they have this this file and this file they're going to be able to open the session and have all the files connect and you still have the original session we have all your files all right so that's a, that's the main difference between save copy in and save as just a quick recap so save as is if you want to like if you want to leave a trail of your work as in all right in this save as session i did eq and in this one this is where i did compression and this one i did beat drops if you want to leave a trail you can always go back you always leave a path all right so when you send it to your clients or if you yourself is your own client as in you mix your own music you can go back if your client says actually i like the mix that you sent yesterday just leave it like that then you can go back it's very easy save as only saves the ptx file all right does it save the audio files now a save copy in saves the audio files along with the ptx file all right it's great to use in scenarios where you have to back up sessions and when you need to send it to people or send it around or move things around so you always keep your audio files with your ptx session so so that's it my friend by now you should have a great understanding of those two tools and how exactly you should be using them i appreciate you sticking around i'll talk to you soon so make sure you incorporate these tools into your workflow today because it saved me multiple times when i needed to go back into a session when i needed to do mix revisions it has been the difference between me having all my files and having no files i'm glad you stuck around and i'm really happy that i'm able to share this with you so you can improve the way you work so go ahead use the comment section and let me know what are some of the things that stood out to you today all right are you already using save as and save copy and is this part of your workflow already or is this something that you will implement in your workflow from this day moving forward go ahead and use the comment section i see all the comments so go ahead and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video peace